save it, isn't it? Right. Come on around here. Come on over here with us for a minute. Come on, tell us about what you're doing here, okay? My name David? Yeah. Right. Is it really David? It's wearing your mother's life. It's wearing your mother's life. Right. Stand up again, stay now. I think I actually heard you. Like, you heard me where? No, like, you know what? Like on Facebook. So. Right. You heard me on Facebook. Yeah. Like, and you know it's me, yeah? Yeah. Right. Just for the camera. That save it. That you? Yeah. Right. And you sent that to a child, did you? What? That? That picture. Obviously, uh, it was me. Obviously, because it's you. Okay. So what are you doing here? Nothing. I have to live here. You're doing nothing here, you have to live here. No, I live here. No, I, I know. I'm not talking about the area, I'm talking about what you're doing here, right here and right now. I'm going in to use the bathroom. You're going in to use the bathroom, are you here to meet anybody? No. Nobody at all? No. Have you a phone on you? Where's your phone? Yeah, yeah. okay. I'm going to hang on to that phone until the police come, okay? Now, do you want to start being honest about what you were here for? I'm going to be honest, is that, is that live on Facebook? It is live on Facebook. Why? Right, so you need to start being honest. So have you obviously heard of me, did you? I've heard of you. Uh, it's a beautiful country, isn't it? That's exactly what we are. How did you hear of us? We are live on Facebook. What, what one did you see? Do you follow us on Facebook? No, I said uh, fell up in Dublin. Fell up in Dublin. Which one? I'm uh, not sure. You're not sure. All right. So why are you here? Let's get back to this. Why are you here? Honestly, you came into. Honestly, you wouldn't lie to me now, would you? No. Yeah, you're sure about that now. Thanks. All right, you wouldn't lie to me. Um, Amanda, can you hold this? I can, yeah. Right. So, whose number have you been using? Uh, hey, stop scratching your head. Nice. Whose number have you been using? This you? That's my Facebook. That's not Facebook. That's an app. Right. Um, right. What you up to? You look cute. Yeah. Good. How are you? What's that? What is it? Not an odd. What is it? A dick. It's a dick. Whose dick is it? Mm. Yours. And who are you sending that to? To a young one. To a young one. How old is the young one? I don't know. You don't know, honestly. You said you, but you said you were here to just to, you know. There it is there, look. And you told her it was for her. Am I right? Yeah? You're 22. Yeah? 22 and you. She told her she's 14. What does that say? Uh, oh, are you sure? Uh, are you older than me? I'm only 14. Oh, you are older than me. I'm only 14 is what she said to you. What's the age of consent in Ireland? Uh, no. That even makes it worse. No. Why is it? It's 17. You, you understand it's against the law to groom a child under the age of 17? Do you, do you understand what grooming is? No. Well, if you watch our things, you should know. And also, you should know. So, playing the tick with me won't work, right? Do you think it's appropriate for a 22 year old to come here to meet a 14 year old to send her dick pics, disgusting videos? No? Well, why do it? I don't know, I'm no, 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 hang on, hang on. Come here and I tell you something. Don't turn around and say, I don't know, right? Because a child turns around and says, when they get caught doing something, oh, I don't know. That's a cop out, okay? Why are you, t why are you messaging a 14 year old? Because, because uh, can I be honest? Speak up, speak can up. I, can I be honest with you? Yes, you can be honest. I actually have a learned um, uh, disability. Right, and what, what's that got to do with um, wanting to have sex with a child? Nothing. Do you know the majority of people in Ireland have a learning dis disability? That has absolutely nothing got to do with you, what, what you want to do to this child. Yeah? What is it, dyslexia or something? No, just a learning disability. Just a learning, well, it has to have a name, does it? No, like it's, uh, it's a mild. Oh, it's a mild, a mild what, though? I don't know, honestly. So you have a learning disability, and who diagnosed it? Uh, my, um, what's it called? Um, 
it's a, it's a doctor. Okay, so a doctor turns around and says, There you are, David. You have a disability. What did he say the name was? I have to go to somebody's trying to get you away. Oh. I'm not even sure. I don't even know what name it is exactly. Well, he would have given you a name. So it tells me you're speaking bullshit to me. I'm not speaking you bullshit. You are be speaking bullshit. Right? And it, it doesn't matter, even if you did have a learning disability, what has that got to do with grooming young children online? What has it got to do with grooming young children online? Nothing. Nothing. So you're using it as an excuse. There's no excuse for what you've done. None. Why are you going after little girls? I just can't help it. You can't help it, so you have a problem? I do have a problem. You do have a problem. What's your problem? I don't know. You don't know? You hold on to that. Mind the, the side button next time after that. So what's your problem? If you just told me of the problem, so tell me what your problem is. Why are you going after little girls? Can you not get a girl your own age? Because uh, on, uh, on that, uh, on that app thing. Yeah. It said actually on actually her profile she was 18. No, but you've just told me of a problem going after little girls. So, so what are you talking about? She told you she was 14. Doesn't matter what the app says, she told you she was 14. So why are you going after little girls? Don't tell me you don't know. Do not tell me you don't know. Be honest. She's okay. Why? You told her you fancied her. So you fancy little girls, do you? Answer me. When I ask you a question, yes. you answer me. Yes. Don't nod at me, right? I didn't drive all this way for you to stand there and nod at me, okay? You yeah, asked her, did she have any sexy pictures of herself? What 14 year old would have sexy pictures of herself? No. Then why ask this child for sexy pictures? No. Do you find young girls attractive? Well, obviously you do. You just told me a few minutes ago you do. Now you're saying no, which is it? I don't. But you do because you've messaged a 14 year old. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a stupid uh, mistake. A mistake? A mistake. A mistake is pulling into the garage and putting petrol in your diesel tank. That's a silly mistake. Messaging young girls is not a mistake. Now I've looked at your Facebook and you have nothing but young girls on it. So why? You've obviously added. I'm not saying you added them all, but you would have added majority of them. So you, you do have a sexual attraction to young girls. Yeah, so if you have, be honest. So you're a sexual predator. That's exactly what you are because they can't consent to anything. Once they're under the age of 17, they cannot consent. So what does that make you? A paedophile. Your word's not mine. Have you ever met a younger girl before? Well, you know what the guards are gonna do? They're gonna take your phone, right? And it doesn't matter if you deleted anything. They're gonna download your whole phone and they're gonna get everything back. Every website you went on, every picture you received, they can get all that back. So I'm going to ask you again, have you been talking to other underage girls? No. I don't believe you for a minute. I, I, don't, I don't believe you for a minute. I don't believe you for a minute, right? You are very, very manipulating in these messages. Very manipulating, right? You kept asking her, had she an interest in, her, in you? What was she wearing? I'd say you have a nice body. A 14 year old would have a nice body. That body isn't, isn't even developed yet. Right? You must have sent her about 70 missed calls. You are constantly calling her. Now, I'm going to ask you whose phone were you using? That phone is. That phone there. So you just pretended to be your brother, did you? No. And it's a simple question. No. Well, we messaged the phone to, to me here to tell you where we were. And brother. someone messaged that back. So this is a different phone you have, is it? Yeah. Or the two of you using the one phone? No, we both have different phones. You both have different phones, right? So how come you've been? So is it your brother been messaging her on this WhatsApp number? I don't know. Well, okay, I'll make it simple for you. Were you messaging her? Did you message her all these messages on WhatsApp? Not them messages. Not these messages. So who did? Probably my uh, my uh, brother. So your brother's in on this. What's his name? 
Brendan. And how old is he? 17. He's 17. And you've just entwined him now into this, but yet you're here to meet the child. Yeah. Can I uh, say something first? Go ahead. I actually have a red bike over there. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's bound for me younger brother. Yeah. And I have to have it back. Oh, well, we let you go and bring it back to him, and will you come back to us then, will I'm you? Sure I'm on my mother's life. Oh, we, uh, right, okay. Well, how long will it take you? About Do you reckon? Five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. But, like, is that walking, cycling the back, and walking back to us? If so, if we wait here, you'll come back to us, will you? Yeah. Do you think for a woman I'm going to let you go? I swear to God. Do you think for a woman I'm going to let you go? My bike is there. And Do you think for... I don't care about a bike, right? You've sexually groomed a child. Right, and you think for a woman I care about a bike? I've drove 200 kilometers to get you. And you think for a woman I'm gonna let you go off cycling a bike? Are you for fucking real, like? So who messaged this? What am I looking at the messages? Mm. Who messaged him? Now, you can get your brother into serious trouble here. Serious fucking trouble here. Can you ring that number? Yeah. So if we ring that number, is this phone gonna ring? That number? Mm-hmm. There's no SIM card on it. Oh, so you've took your SIM card out? No, there's no SIM card in it. Well, what's the number we have for you? Who's ringing me? Who's ringing you? I think it's his brother. All right. <coughs> Hello? Well, Lenny. what's your, what's your name? What, what's your name? You're his... He's now staff, right? Yeah, so, and come here and I ask you, how old are you? You're 21, and is your name Brandon? Is your name Brandon? Okay, Brandon, this is Louise Grace from Child Protection Awareness. Are you aware that your brother's come all the way down here to meet a 14-year-old girl for sex? We're paedophile hunters. You heard me. Okay, well, let me say it slowly. My name is Louise Grace. I am from a group called Child Protection Awareness. You, oh, you're aware of the page. Okay, so you understand what we do then. Your, I, your brother's standing in front of me because he came here to meet a 14 year old girl for sex. And he's told, he's just told us now that it was you that was messaging this child, not him. That's exactly, your brother just said if it was him, he'd be the one down here meeting her. So do you want to be honest now? Who messaged her? Me. Yeah, so it was you. Now I'm just asking your brother to be honest here because we're live on Facebook. And he's, he's roped you into this, <coughs> excuse me, he's roped you into this by saying it was you messaging this child. Yeah. It was a <coughs> Well, I'm just a bit letting you be aware. The guards have been called as well, so they'll be coming down to take him away. All right. Okay, bye. I don't know how to stop that. Um, so, yeah, so. It was you all along. Why why get your brother involved in it? See what I mean about you being a manipulator by trying to say, oh, he's 17. Knowing that once they're under the age of 18, they possibly wouldn't get into trouble for it. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So you knew exactly what you were doing here, didn't you? You're a snaky little fuck, aren't you? Aren't you? So you knew exactly what you were doing was wrong. So you can go stick your learning disabilities up your hole, can't you? Excuse, excuse, excuse. There's no excuses for trying to groom our children online and trying to have sex with a 14-year-old. You ask her, could you get her pregnant? Am I right? No, what did I say? Don't nod your head at me. Answer. Isn't that what you said to her? Yeah. Why were you constantly sending her missed calls? Constantly ringing her. What do you mean you don't know? You are manipulating her every single chance you got. 
Am I right in saying that you told her you'd kill herself if she didn't come down? Why say that to a child? Why put that on a child's head? Why? Now, what did I say about answering me? I don't want to hear I don't know. I want to hear proper answers. Can you not get a girl your own age? Why not? I just don't know how to get a proper girl. Well, maybe if you fucking cleaned yourself up a bit. You look like a scruffy little god. I won't even say what you look like. And as for your penis pictures, holy Jesus. I say you've more insects going on in there than the Amazon fucking forest. Do you find something funny? No. Because I don't find it funny having to drive all this wet length coming down to you. Not one bit do I. Now you tell me now why you're here to meet a 14 year old girl. She just meet up with her. And? Or just, just actually hang out. And? Or to have sex. And, and probably to have sex. Now, do you know what that's called when you have sex with someone under the age? Rape. Pardon? Rape. You need to speak up. Rape. It's called rape. Why is it called rape? You yeah, they have sex with a, with a girl under uh, 14. Yes. And why, why is it against the law to do that? Um. Because you asked her in this chat to c actually consent to sex with you. Am I right? Yeah. So did you think by her consenting that that was going to be okay? Then why did you ask her? I know. Just... Did you make that? Yeah. Right, will you hold on to that? The read is back. Oh, that's, that's all right. Give it to me and I'll speak to him. Yeah. It was stupid. Is that what you said? Right, you, said, Cap, you, you hounded. By the way, the 14 year old you were talking to was this lady here. I knew that there was cash for it. I knew it. You knew it? What did you know? Because I knew the pictures that she put up. Not who she was. How, how would you know that? How would you know that? Because you put up a picture of Conor McGregor. Yeah, but I don't prove it. Yeah, but I'm just saying you put up a picture of Conor McGregor, but then you sent us your real ones. She sent, she didn't put up a, fel, a false picture. She put up a picture of who she said she was. So don't bullshit here and say, oh, I knew it, I knew it. You knew fuck all. You knew nothing. How's your butterflies? How's your butterflies? I, 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 I am not. You need to speak up. One second, guys. The guard's ringing. Hello? No, it's actually Louise. Yeah, she's actually just busy at the moment. Are you on your way here? Are you, are you the guards, yeah? Oh, okay, hang on, I'll pop you onto her. She needs details off you. Hello. Right, so how's your butterflies? Nerves. Nerves? Yeah, like uh, I, like, you need to speak up. I, I am uh, like sweating. You're sweating? Well, it's very warm today. But you told her here since you started talking to her, every time she texts you, you get butterflies. So how's your butterflies? It's just all panicky. It's panicky? What's panicky? Because I'm standing here in front of you. Yeah, and there's two big fellas here. Two big fellas, yeah. They're here to protect me. But you know what? They're also here to protect you. So nobody comes and attacks you. If anybody comes over near you, they have to stop them from hitting you because we have to safeguard you till the guards come. We also have to make the guards aware that any time you didn't get your own way in this chat, you, you, you told the, the child that you were going to uh, kill yourself. Didn't you? Total manipulator you were. Total. I don't know. I knew when you stood in front of me that you were going to play that I have learning difficulties. No fuck all wrong with your chats. Nothing. Can you grab that? Yeah, the guards are on the way. Brilliant stuff. Ryan? Yeah, yeah, one more question. My my bike is still over there. Hey, guys, can I like, can no. I just tell you one thing? Yeah. Your bike I don't give a fuck. Can I can I that's your mother? Your mother. Yeah. That's all yeah. right. Right, one of you have a word with her there. Right, you asked her did she fancy you? 
Right, yeah, so just wanna have fun on the phone. What kind of fun were you talking about? What kind of fun were you like talking about? No, 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 no. She asked you when you said you wanna see me dick. Yeah? And your answer was she make you horny. Talk dirty to you. Yeah? So what's the how's that just chatting? I ring him and I said, Dee, uh, how are you? How's your day going? Oh yes, yeah, grand, how's work? Yeah, how's your kids? Oh they're grand. That's chatting. We chat. That's actually chatting. This is not chatting. Right? She wanted to get me pregnant. Did you bring the condoms? Where's the condoms? Did you bring condoms? Look like you don't even fucking wash yourself. I wouldn't be surprised. Look at all these. Miss Carl, Miss Carl, Miss Carl, Miss Carl. Babe, where are you? I'm sick of this. Miss Carl, will you ring me? Are you drunk or something? What the fuck is going on? Have you got a boy? Why aren't you answering me the first time? This was constant. Constant. What are you wearing? Were you talking to boys at the disco? This was all you. Every single bit of this was you. Right? She told you again. How would she be drunk because she's only 14? You told her you were going to kill yourself and be with your father. Again, threatening this child. I'm going to do it. I was crying because I fucked things up with you. Yeah, I know, we know that. So you've done this before? I, yeah. Hang on, your mother is just standing behind us. Yeah, no, I heard and your mother just told us that you have been involved in a ring and you have done this to loads of kids before. Oh my god. You dirty, disgusting fucking prick. Oh my god. How many kids did you abuse before? Answer me, how many? Just about two. Just about two? No, you'll fucking know if you abuse kids. How many? Two or three. Real kids? Real kids, is it? No. What, were they fucking fake? I don't know who they are. Oh my God, I've never been so fucking mad in my life. How dare you, how fucking dare you. And then you play the LD card. What ring have you been involved in? Are you still involved with these, these people? So what were you doing? Getting kids and abusing them between you all? Answer me, tell me what way it worked. I wanna know. It didn't work anything like that. Well, tell me what way it worked. How did you do it? I was just chanting. You chat, chatting where? Chatting uh, on the phone. Chatting on the phone. Well, where did you get their numbers? It's on the license and options. Right. And how old were they? Look at me when I'm speaking to you. How old were they? How old were the kids you abused? 15, 16. No, I don't believe you for fucking no, one minute. I don't believe you for one minute. How old? This is all going to come out. Uh, I, listen, I don't care. The mother has it. Oh, no, sorry. Don't lift your hand up again. Oh, no, sorry about that. Look at me. How old were the kids? You're involved in a paedophile ring. Your mother, your own mother's just told us. So, and the HSC knew about this because you were in care. Did you abuse these kids in care? You're a fucking liar and I don't believe you. Your mother is in an absolute state over there. Yeah, your mother just said sorry is not a fuck enough. How dare you? Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Now answer me. Were these kids in care that you abused? No, answer. When was it? When was it? I, I, a day after I just, I was just got leaving care. A day after? So four years ago? So you, so you, did you rape them? No, I never touched them. No, no, hang on. Never. You cannot stand there and tell me you didn't I touch never, them if I your never. mother told us that you're after being involved in a paedophile ring and you've abused kids before. Why? Right? Yeah, but maybe in messages, but not like... What like do you people. mean maybe messages? Like, that's not abusing, that's grooming. There's a difference. You abuse kids in care. That's what you done. Didn't you? Answer me, didn't you? Yes. Yes. So abusing means doing things to them. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Do not look away again. I'm serious with you now because you're getting me very fucking mad. Right? How old were these children? Uh, 12. No, 12, 13. 12, 13. So we've gone from 15, 16 now to 12 and 13. And you abuse them, sexually abuse them. 
Yeah. Did you rape them or just abuse them? Just actually abused them. I don't believe you. Why aren't you in prison? This is what you're what's wrong with our fucking justice system. You are in being involved with probably countless rapes of children, young children, only four years ago. And you're allowed around walk around the fucking street and be on devices. Are you on the sex register? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Were you ever in court? I was for cannabis. You were here for what? Weed. For weed. Yeah, could you send our decoy picture of drugs as well? Did the HSE cover it up, did they? Did anybody take you in for questioning? The guards did. The guards did. And what did the guards say? The guards said if they, uh, uh, if this ever happens ever again. The guards said if it ever happens, what? Uh, uh, if they ever catch me doing anything like this, that I could be locked up. So the guards said, so you've right, raped right. children, and the guards said, you naughty boy, if we catch you doing this again, we're going to lock you up. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. And who, which guard was this? Where was this? Where was this? It was here in town. It was here in town. So right. the local guard station, was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just let everybody know we're staying live when the guards come. Because I want answers of why you're walking around the fucking street amongst our children. What did the HSC do? Nothing. They done nothing. They covered it up, did they? Yeah. They covered it up. Were you talking to anybody in the HSC? No. Social workers? Uh, how did people know? How did people get involved? Did someone tell that what you done? Is that how it came out? No, what happened was the person that I was texting texted my own mother. The person texted your mother and told your mother? Yeah. Right. And what she text your mother? That um, your, your son Darren texted me. So your name isn't David, it's Darren? Yeah. Yeah, you told us that your name was David, but then you set up another app with the name Darren. And by the way, he tried to blame your other son on this. You're a sexual predator, and this is a shame. You look at your look at your mother. How could you do that? How could you do that on your mother and your own brother? And you're standing there like you don't give a shit. I do. Do you? How do you? How do you? Are you just sorry you got caught? Is that what it is? You're sorry you got caught. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So you have no consideration for this 14 year old. Yeah, that's good. And we'd be staying live when they come because I want answers of why you are not locked up after raping children in care. Didn't you rape them? Didn't you rape them? I didn't touch them physically. You just said you did. You just said you did. I didn't. That's all right. Stay away, please. No, I'm staying live actually. No, 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 excuse me, excuse I'm me, saying excuse like... Excuse me, where the guard are you? I know you who you are, and it's not against the law to, to, to record. I am staying live. This chap is a sexual predator, and he's already been done for it. Or not, actually, he hasn't even been done for it. The guards told him if they catch him uh, raping or abusing children again, they'll lock him up. So I am staying live. You'll put away the camera. No, I won't put the camera away, and I don't have to put the camera away. It is not against the law to record, and I'm in a public area. Okay, worth being a farm. You just caught him raping someone. He said on camera. And That's his mother. Go. And his, his mother, mother told us. And his, his mother, mother told us. And his mother told us the HSC knew about it. And, and covered it up. It, and everyone covered it up. It's going on for years. And who are you? Child, child, child protection awareness. Security? Yeah. Yes. No, security. Who are you? That's not your name. Oh. Yeah, well, well he, Can you give me a name over here off the yeah, camera? Yeah, off the camera. Can you give me a name? You're not giving me your name. Why should Why should this man's name be on the camera when your name is not? Hang on. You're not the moral police here, sexual predator. Yes, yeah, right. you're not the moral of me. I had to go. pull up with his chats. Sexual predator. I put up with his chats. I had to. I had to look at his Wait, manhood. So, so, I've had to so have you're, videos. So you're the complaining son. I'm the decoy. I'm the decoy. You're yes. The yeah. Yes, I am. I pull up with that. There we go. Over four thousand people watching this live now, and this is what we get off the guards when they come. There's no, there's no, there's no, good, no point whispering into my ear. Now don't even talk to him, Damon. Arrogance. No, there's no arrogance. Arrogant. There is arrogance. Hang on, you jumped out of your car like the moral police saying, why should he be on live? Why shouldn't he be on live? He's raped children before and he's here to rape another one. One moment. Has, has this man been convicted of any offence? No, you No, because you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything, did you? I haven't. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. 
No, we ha why but has he? But in Utah, it is fair. It is fair. If he's here to rape our children, of course it's fair. He wants. He was here to meet a fourteen-year-old. We'll deal with it. What are you but shrugging as, your shoulders for? We'll deal with it, but as of yet, he hasn't been convicted of any yeah. offence. Well, do you know will what? You do you know what? You know what? Listen, no, I won't stop shouting because do you know what? Yes, you are. So you don't get out of your car and come over to me on the higher, higher moral I'm, ground and I'm say not, it's not fair for I'm him not, to go no, live. I'm, it is fair for him I'm, to live. I'm, I have the evidence that what he's done. I'm there it's in the chat I'm logs. I'm one foot away from you. Yeah, I'm that's great. Deaf, thank God. Yeah, that's good. Well, I am half deaf. How's that? I am half deaf. But well, then I shout at you if you, you want. You can shout at me all you want. I you don't care. You hear me. I don't I care. My voice. I honestly don't care if you shout at me. I've exposed him because that's what he deserves. Next listen, thing that now. Lady, is, listen, that lady there. Yeah. Has, has the details and is the complainant. Yes, yeah, she so is. That's right. The guard is taking her details. Yeah, that's we'll correct. Fo we'll follow up. Don't worry about it. Yes, uh, well, I hope to God. Are you a detective? No, I'm not. No. You're not. What are you, just a guard? I'm a juvenile liaison officer. So. Oh, you're a juvenile. All right. Well, we'll get a detective or something because you won't even deal with it. Okay. Yeah. He's not a juvenile, by the way. He's I 22. Know. I know that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Doesn't, Why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it's your job not just to look after the juveniles now. I'm a guard. Yeah, but you just announced yourself as a ju junior, what is it, juvenile liaison officer? That's what I am, yeah, that's my official position. Oh, you're your official here, position, I'm here, I'm here okay. To, to, well, it may be how you should be a little bit more professional, just saying. Just saying. His mother begged for hell for years. Oh, his mother begged for hell for years. Here you go, people. This is what we're dealing with. Sympathy all across the board. Don't even attempt to move. Because I'll drop you to the I'm floor. Not even at all. I will drop I'm you not. to the floor. Absolutely disgusting. So many children did you rape again? Uh, uh, Two? Two or three. Two or three. Oh, we've gone up to three. No, but it would have been four or five. That's what I said the first time. Oh, well, oh, that's what you said. Two or three. Right, is your mouth dry? Well, obviously, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe if you brushed your teeth, it wouldn't be as dry. Yeah, I my teeth. You have? I have that. Are you sure about that? I have that. You're full of plaque all over them. Yeah, well, that's my problem. That's your problem, is it? No, I'm not no, putting you on no, it, love. No, I am not no, putting you on no. it. You don't deserve to be put on it, to be fair. Yeah. You alright? Come here, come here. Well, I know you've been looking for years to get help from. Maybe now they'll help you. Yeah, I'm never, alive still. ever, ever raped anybody. He never raped him. He didn't. Who could he have raped? He was in care all his life. He told us it was in care. He done it in care. Well, then you take it up with the HSC. Oh, you yes. Shouldn't. Like, all right, I don't agree with this. A hundred percent, I don't. But I'm just turning around saying, why don't you go on to the HSC now about what? what they left him go through all his life without getting him the help he need. Well, to be very honest with you, I don't know what the HSC put him through all his life. All as we no. knew was he was in care. Yeah. And, and he told us that he ha he was caught the day before <coughs> he left care. It was the day before he turned 18. That's what he but told us. But they never us. told me. The HSC didn't even tell well, me that. Well, they covered it up. That's what they do. They cover it up. And I'll tell you why they cover it up. Because if someone is raped in their care, they get sued. So that's why everything is covered up. Well, I'm going to for not helping my son. Well, you, you, and you know what? You're, you're, you're all entitled to do that. And you're entitled to find out. And you're also entitled, he's entitled to get every single little bit of data that his name is on under the data protection. Yeah. Well, I'm going to and if I was you, I'd get it from the guards as well. I'm going to get in the solicitor now. Did you get it there, Asia? Yeah, I'll ring him. You wouldn't give us my coffee out of the car there, would you, Nelly? Thanks. But there you go, people. One tick fucking copper. The mother just told us that, yeah. She's only saying it because the guards are there. Where were the, the social worker rang the mother and told the mother? A Just a minute ago. The oh! Where the fuck were you when I was you for right, so the team just witnessed a phone call here from uh, the social worker rang the mother. Obviously, was watching it on live. And the mother at the social worker and said, 
where we are the years when I asked for it, was begging for help for him. So there you go, guys. That's the state of this fucking country that we live in. And then you get a tick copper jumping out of the car and thinking he's fucking... Rambo. Rambo. Yeah, you had a. No, I'll make sure you, are you, are you setting me Oh, yeah, yeah, not a bother, not a bother. I'll give it a bell, though, do you know? Right, you head up, clear one, clear one, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, go on, talk to you later. Absolutely, absolutely appalling, appalling. What's that? The brothers were ringing the decoy phone. Brothers. Oh, he's a load of brothers, yeah. He's nine brothers. And apparently they were ringing the decoy phone, so not sure whether we're getting a fucking straight answer out of anybody to be fair, but the mother was and bits crying. She came down. Jet, the HSC covering all this up. That was young girl getting raped by that fucking dirty pig. You'd a bush on him like the fucking Amazon forest. The fucking weed whacker wouldn't take it away. Oh, thanks, Wendy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Sorry about, guys, sorry about getting uh, leery there. But the came right over to us. Give it a little look. Wave to the camera. It's all right, we have your pictures. Darren. Darren Reardon from Dungarvan and Waterford. Poor mammy doesn't know where to look. <coughs> Where's your red copper gone? Down there. Probably down there to see if he can, if I can, if can bring any charges on me. The knack of him torn that off. Get the fuck. It's not illegal to record. Maybe we had it done it nicely. I might have, but nah. Amanda, you need to ask those guards what their names is. And he's a, he said he stated he's a guard, so you want his number as well. Oh, Why right, so yeah, get a pen? Has anyone got a pen? Has anybody got a pen and paper? We here open the glove box there, it might be wooden. Yeah. Fucking sweat is rolling out over here. It's so hot. Just sending Amanda over to get the guard's name and numbers because we'd be putting in a complaint about that treatment. Shocking. <laughs> I just want to say this is not the family's fault, so please, if you know the family, stay away from them. Um, it's definitely not the brother's fault either. Um, he tried to stitch the brother up. But clever little fucker, saying the brother was 17. I was didn't realise the brother was... The brother actually rang the phone. Did you get the names and numbers yet? Aidan McCarthy and Keen McCarthy. Which one is... Uh, Aidan, Stroppy bollocks. Scaldy bollocks. Nelly, do us a favour. See that other coffee cup in there? Probably. Open it and I'll throw my cigarette butt in it because this fucker will do me for a littering. Yeah. Where do you throw yours in there as well? Yeah, I <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, he says. Have you got to give a statement? Uh, he didn't say when. Give him a nap there. Yes. I'll go give a statement now. Must have heard me saying about statements and jumped out. <sighs> Sorry lads for getting a bit leery there, but if you had a saw the way that copper jumped out of the car. The real rudeness of it. Saying he was innocent. Innocent. <sighs> Big tick head on him. I don't worry, we have their names, we've been putting in a complaint into the superintendent. Why are we heading to the station? No, uh, they're going to send the guard down to you. Local. Yeah, okay guys, so we're going to shut off now and uh, we'll catch you all soon. Take care.